Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is your friendly neighborhood farmer Raznak. We are back on Beaver Creek and we're planting some oilseed radish here on the potato field. Uh, I was hoping to get some stuff done. I, I did actually get some. I sold a bunch of onions. I sold a bunch of sapling pallets. I sold a tractor. I got rid of our Herleman, uh, our 190 horse Herleman that we had over at the grape farm and the reason why is because this tractor this Voltra can do everything that it does and a little better it's faster road speed has a little higher horsepower and the front loader so we're just going to be using this um, tractor kind of all over the place now like our little utility or 250 horse utility tractor it might be bigger than that. I can't remember how many horses does this one have uh, yeah 250 so we're down to just four tractors. We have our little cloth that does most of our work, our Voltra, the same, which is just our spraying rig, and then our fertilizing rig, and then our big, big terror track. That's what we got going on. We're just using the horse. This is a, an in game mod. It was actually just updated, it added uh, some better uh, animations for the cultivator. And you can get, uh, it's a really cool pack. Um, let me find it. We'll just look at it real quick. And then we'll get on to what we're, we're going to finish this and then we're going to start sorting potatoes. So it's a pretty neat little pack. It comes with this cultivator seed vert tank. This is actually a cultivator. Um, I'm pretty, you can use it, I think. I, I haven't tried it independent of this. But then you have these, you have uh, both six meter row crop and six meter drill. And now uh, with a new update, there's a front tank. So you don't have to use this. You can use the front tank with these two if you want, or you can use this one. That way you can do uh, direct seeding. These don't direct seed. You have to cultivate before you use this. You slap this bad boy on the front and then you can direct seed. And that's what we're doing. We're just direct seeding into the potato ground. Um, some oilseed radish and then we'll come back later on and plow. The reason why it looks like this is because I had periodic plowing turned off for some reason. I don't remember doing that but we have a plow and when we're done we'll come back and do that. Uh, I wanted to get, I was hoping that the the heap of potatoes would be done fermenting even though they're not fermenting. Some of the viewers in the last episode they told me in the comments that It'll do that, but then it just turns back into regular potatoes. But I can't get to them because it's only like at 27%. So we're going to pull a pile of potatoes out of the in-ground storage. And then we're going to start putting those in the washer. So I've generated some money because I don't like to borrow money. And in fact, I'm paying back the last 10000 of my loan. I don't like to borrow money if I don't have to. I'm weird. <laughs> just don't like the bank to have any leverage over me. I don't at all. I like running a debt-free farm. And then we're going to sort some potatoes. I got this last two passes. Like I said, I sold a bunch of onions. And I sold um, a bunch of saplings. I had sapling pallets ready. A whole truckload full up uh, at the logging area. I sold some law. I sold some uh, boards. I had a truckload of boards, and I sold some sheep. I did. I sold some sheep out of the big pasture because a bunch of these are pregnant. Um, well, I thought they were. Well, maybe. I swear, I thought I saw some that were, that were. Yeah, there they, there they are. They, but they wouldn't. They wouldn't progress. They weren't having any any kids. Is that goats or is that sheep too? I can't remember. What's the what's the baby name for a sheep? Yeah, who knows. So <laughs> they weren't progressing, and I was stuck at 298 for some reason. So I went ahead and sold uh, a trailer load. Uh, not very much. You only got like 300 dollars per sheep. Sheep don't get you much money. Um. They really don't. Other than wool, I don't think they're worth a whole, whole lot. 
but I haven't tried the sheep for just sh raising sheep purposes. All of mine are wool. But I sold some of them off, make room. That way we could uh, maybe get some new new babies over there in the in the flock. All right, we're about done here. I like so this this was actually updated. I was there. Um, it added some better animations for the cultivator, and that does look better. The wheels are kind of spinning now on all the discs. I really wish that it threw up a little more dirt and a little more dust, because there's no dust at all. All the dust comes off the tractor. Um, I think if it had that improvement, it would be a near perfect, a near perfect piece of equipment. It's just a really nice kit. It's just neat. It's a perfect size for me. I like six meters. I really like between six, six, seven, eight meter farming. I don't like three meter farming for the most part. But this right around six, seven, eight meters, pretty, pretty fun. Um, we'll take this back up to the main farm in a little bit. Oop. But in the meantime, let's park our vulture right here. We're going to be using it shortly. Just park it under this lean to. Now, I also added pig food to the sell point down at the docks. Now, a price, you don't get a price. It doesn't show up, but I did test it. And we get about a dollar a liter of pig food. So about a thousand bucks. Which I think is a pretty good price, considering if you go in the shop and buy it, it's a dollar <laughs> per liter. So, um, not a bad price. What we're going to do is let's pull out some potatoes from the storage area. Speaking of, I can't remember, where's the output on this? Is it inside? No, it's out front. That's what it is. And you can tell I haven't used this very much. I haven't used it at all. I have decided that uh, when this year is finished, we're done with Beaver Creek, I'm going to put it on pause. I'm not going to get rid of it. I am going to put it on pause. And move on to something else. I have some plans in my head. Um, some kind of... Uh, when I was a kid, I loved the Choose Your Own Adventure books. Um, I loved, I loved that stuff where you read the book and you get to a page and you, you choose your adventure. I think I might do that with you guys. I'm gonna let you guys choose the map I play, the equipment I play with, the type of farm I run, and each episode, at the end of the episode, uh, there's gonna be a choice, and then based upon the comments, that's the way the next episode's gonna go. That's my plan, at least. Yeah, we all know no plan survives first contact. I don't know who that... that I know it was a military guy that said that. Was it Napoleon? Or, I can't remember. But no plan survives first contact, so we may have to adjust from there. But first things first, we're going to make a big pile of potatoes over here. We have 38 tons of potatoes, because we're going to start washing them. That's what we're going to do. And I think this would be a perfect spot for it. I wanted to put the heap there, but unfortunately it's not going to work out for us. So we'll just put a... pile of potatoes right here. Alright. And we'll position our truck over here because we're going to be loading it. Now, what are we going to load it with? Well, that's why I wanted to make some money. Because we're going to set our delivery point. We're going with a front, uh, front loader, or a telehandler. The reason why a telehandler, because I have installed in here. I was looking through my buckets to see, like, this one holds 940 liters. Um, there's the other one that holds potatoes. Might be it. We have this one, it's like 350 liters. And these, none of these hold potatoes. 
450. So none of the front loader buckets are big enough. And the only wheel loader bucket I have on here is this big high dump. It only holds 3,000 liters. But I have this telehandler bucket that holds 4240 or 3110. Now, I think what I'm going to go with is the 3110, because I think the 4240 is just going to be a little bit too big. There we go. And then we can adjust the capacity. So the reinforcements. Um, sure, why not? Brand. We're just going to do, uh, I don't think, is there a Kloss brand? No, we're going to do Telehandler. And I like the orange color. I do. Just go with traditional black. We'll just go with gray. So this is the Bressel and Laid buckets. You can get those from the in-game mod hub. So we're going to do that. And then what we need to go with it is the Scorpion, because I haven't had a chance to use it yet. And should we go with wide tires? Sure, why not? Why not? Here's our Scorpion. Let's buy it. And then, I couldn't remember, is there a weight for this? can't remember if this weight attaches. Okay, um, can't remember, is there a, a pitch on the back of this one? No. It's not. See, there's, I can't, I can never remember. I always get my mods mixed up. Always get them mixed up. Alright, so we have that. And uh, we need water in here for the potatoes. So let's grab our trusty Voltra. We have a water tank. So that's how that works. Man, I wish my potato heat, but it's it's probably only like thirty something percent. I, I remember I built this so many weeks ago, months ago. I mean, a long, long time ago. We'll get that filling up. Why that's filling up? Let's go ahead and grab a bucket load of potatoes. So, like I said, I think that's a perfect size. Any any bigger, and I just don't feel like it would be uh, be appropriate. Now, I've never used this stuff. I've only watched a couple videos. I couldn't even tell you how it works. Open product menu. It auto starts on. So I'm assuming the potatoes go in this hopper right here. That's what I'm assuming. Two point four nine tons of potatoes. Assuming that's what happens. Oh. And we're putting in potatoes. Curious how many of this holds. Oh wow, that's only... So I can put five scoops in there. Five scoops of potatoes. So let's put in five scoops real quick. And we'll be right back. And we are full of potatoes. Let's put the rest of these in this pile. We have plenty, plenty of taters left to wash. This is going to be something that I'll do a lot of this off camera. Because, uh, why torture you with it? I just wanted to get it working. So, what we need to think about is, do I want to transfer these by bucket to the sorter? I think that's what I'm going to do. I just, I want to do some front loader stuff. I enjoy it sometimes. All right. Go over here. Put in some water. I. Oh man, I wish it had a hose. I guess we could add the hoses. And there we go. It's washing. I guess I could add the hoses mod. I don't know if this will work with it or not. 
Okay, so uh, 15,000 potatoes. I'm going to assume the same amount of water. No, it looks like 10,000 liters of water. And we are full. Yep. There we go. I don't know what the output is on this. 20,000 liters an hour is what it'll process. I mean, if I'm reading that right, right? 20,000 liters an hour. So this should empty in an hour. We should, should have that plenty emptied in an hour. Let's move our water tank back over this way. Right here. This thing's cool. It's a washing potatoes. It's pretty cool. That's a neat little mod. I really, I really looking forward to using that. I love different stuff like this. I love stuff that's animated. I love stuff that kind of expands the game, but isn't um, fake, <laughs> isn't real. I mean, some of the production stuff makes absolutely no sense. Like, okay, let's put water in a factory and then we get lime and salt. Oh, whatever. I, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, it'd be better off if you made a placeable that was a quarry that you just had to scoop lime out of. That would be a bet. Or a quarry that has like an animated something like this that mines lime and then you can get it out. And all you have to do is add like diesel fuel to it. Uh, a bio refinery, I get. I can, I can understand that. We'll add some crop product to it, something, and you'll make oil. A lot of productions I understand. A lot of them, I don't, I don't. I don't get. I'm not heart. I'm not hauling stuff around to make pizzas. Sorry, I'm not interested. Not my thing. I like the agricultural production, like the real world stuff. Washing potatoes, sorting them, things like that would be cool. I think what would be really cool is if we had the same functionality of the sorter with the conveyor belt. And I probably could belt that. Bet you you could. If a man wanted to try, he probably could put a conveyor belt under here. And you could conveyor belt this whole process. Or just put one here and then put a sorter right next to it. So you could run like two washers and two sorters. Oh, that'd be a good idea. That might be something I have to do later. How many, do we have any potatoes yet? None. Alright. For the sake of time, let's fast forward an hour. And we have washed potatoes. So just like that. There's our 15,000 liters of potatoes. Yep. Is that all the hopper holds? Yeah, so it's full. The hopper holds only 15,000. Now, I want to see if we can do this. Let's see if we can empty this bad boy here. Are we going to have to pull it out? We are. Oh no, excellent, cool. So now we have washed potatoes. Excellent. So we can do this with the bucket. I like that. Animations need a little tweaking, but <laughs> um, it'd be you can put little conveyor belts down right here, and those look it looks kind of cool. In fact, we'll do one of those here first. I just want to get one of these going. I want to see what happens here. This bucket is way too big, but it works. It hits the trigger. And we're sorting potatoes. <laughs> I love it. That is awesome. I love how it's chugging. Oh, that is so cool. Man, this that thing holds a lot of potatoes. <laughs> See, like I said, that animation is just it's it's not too bad. Um, I could get the CSZ set. So the CSZ set has a bucket with um, like a, a hole in the back. That would work really well with this. And we're sorting potatoes. What's the production on this thing? I think it's it under Global Company 2. Um, 6,666 liters per hour is what it sorts. I bet you that's how much it holds. Oh, am I full? 
I'm full, am I full? There it goes. It just has a weird trigger. Okay. So this is, um, there we go. So that's sorting. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to set up, oh, I guess I can put it kind of where I want it. We'll pay the delivery fee. I don't care. So I wanted to put in, um, it looks like we have, you can put conveyor belts here, these guys. And then we'll get the colors to match. Is it John Deere green? Bent nature green? Let's buy them. So they're pretty inexpensive. And then I guess what you do is you kind of get these into position. So like so, and then I'm going to turn the belt on. So if I'm if I'm right, this should work. Let's get another. I don't think we have. Do we have any more washed potatoes? We should have plenty in there. Let's grab another bucket full. Let's grab a bucket of potatoes. Kind of put our bucket under there. Yeah, the animation is is uh, is okay. <laughs> but at least we have sorting. I like our little sorters. You could put a whole bank of these things if you could belt it somehow. Oh, that'd be cool if like a conveyor belt. Like if you could get a conveyor belt that came out that had side discharge points that had you know like. 10 discharge points that filled this up. Oh, that'd be so cool. A little Factorio and Farm Sim. Now, if if the pitchers are right, we can just kind of dump a pile here of potatoes. There we go. And then that should scoop it up into there. There we go. That's the easy way of doing it. It's much faster. So let's do that. Let's do a little bit of work here. Let's put in a, put in a couple scoops of potatoes into into the washer. How much water did it use? Oh, hardly none. Hardly any water. Only used 8%. So we won't have to fill this with water for a while. See, I love stuff like this. Um, I haven't tried out the CCM mill. There's a global company CCM mill to make like a, um, like a different corn product. I haven't played with that any. Maybe I should. Um, May have to do that in another episode. I guess if I get into big pig farming. Like this would be a really like this and then the CCM mill, if you're doing pig farming, probably would be a pretty good mix. Just keep our potato washer. Because we'll have to load this every hour. Which I don't think is unrealistic. An hour to wash a hopper of potatoes. I don't think that's not too unrealistic. Oh, and as for potato prices, we were talking about potato prices in the last episode. The reason why the prices look so weird is it wasn't the global company mod that was the problem. It was the, it, and it's not that it was a problem. The map author had the potato price set at four times whatever normal is. Um, so I lowered that to two, and now we have a potato price, a regular potato price of 289.49. Washed potatoes still aren't 
very I mean it's actually you get less for just the washed potatoes. Um but premium potatoes you get four ninety twenty seven. So you get five hundred dollars a ton of premium potatoes. So we're gonna have a lot of premium potatoes. So a little more tweaking, I could lower the regular price of potatoes where the washed potatoes make a little bit more money, but we're not, we're going to sort them, so we really don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. So yeah, you could do all this with buckets. Doesn't work too bad. I guess we'll get another, let's get another, um conveyor belt set up because we could just make it we could leave piles here again though you, you want to make sure you're within the trigger point and you don't want to um, you don't want to be too close because you don't want it to move move your deal all right there we go so that's working let's go ahead and get another let's get another um belt up and running belt systems now we could make uh we can make pallets of potatoes i wonder if this will no it probably won't make pallets of or wash but or premium potatoes that'd be nice if it did a little fent nature green seems like the color matches well and we are in the tater business it's pretty cool. This works. Doesn't work too bad. Doesn't look too awful. It'd be really nice if these things would could lock together. Like if you could get conveyor systems that would lock in place. Like you attach them. I think that'd be a pretty neat little touch. Actually, I think you might be onto something, Raz. And if you only could mod. I'm not a modder. Oh, that's why. It's because that thing's dragging the ground. I am not, definitely not a modder. In the words of uh, somebody earlier, Farmer Klein said, I'm a dreamer. Not a modder. A dreamer. I dream up ideas. <laughs> I definitely don't follow through with any of them. Let's grab some more potatoes. And we'll see how this system works. I'm hoping it works. Um, I'm hoping it kind of works independent of us being around. Although I think we have to be within proximity otherwise this stuff turns off now there is another script out there that you can download or you can watch a farmer Klein video where he shows you how to disable the auto turn off where stuff turns off so we may have to do that on these belts if we want these belts to be working although I think they work independent uh, independent of people being around okay and did I not turn you on Why aren't you... There it goes. I just had to get it up and going. And... Success! We'll get some more. Grab another load of potatoes, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a bunch of camera off, or work off camera. We're going to get a whole lot of potatoes washed and sorted. We're going to get a truckload, and it'll probably be tomorrow before it's done, but what we'll do is we'll take that truckload down to the port and get them working. All right, and until I get that done, uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go black. We're going to go off camera a little bit. And we'll get this going. I like it. I think it looks awesome. Definitely, definitely really cool. <laughs> I love those things. Was that an Amazon? Man, these things are really cool. All right, everybody. I'll see you in just a second. All righty. It is almost 9 p.m. Um, this hasn't taken me too long. About, about an hour, hour and a half of real time. Not, not too long. Uh, 
uh, in game time is a little bit quicker, but I've been uh, up in the speed to like 15x here and there to uh, so I can stay caught up to the, or so that the separators can stay caught up to me, really. It's been I, I, I've enjoyed it. I think it's kind of fun to play with. This one's finished. This uh, this one is all done. So we'll just turn that belt off. And I'm really curious. I want to see. I know how many potato we started with a full truckload of potatoes, and I want to see how many we end with. Um, see what kind of loss we have. This one's still got a little bit more to process. So I'm going to turn it up to 15x a little bit more so we can get this done and get, uh, take this load and sell it, which we'll probably, we'll do in the morning, I'm sure, because the dock is closed right now. I mean, it looks like we almost have a full trailer. I'm really curious to see how much loss we have. Because you have, some of this is converted to pig food, and it's very, very little. It's not much at all. I'll show you, um, show you real quick. So, like, right here, I only have 1,843 liters of pig food. Um, so it's, you know, definitely not there yet. This one is, it's almost full. It's at 1982, so we may have to spawn a pallet. Yep, it's full. So I think what we do is we go into the pig food, we hit E... Oh, I, I'm probably standing where I shouldn't. Probably standing right at the spawn point. Let's try to get... Maybe over here. There we go. So... You, Again, that, that hopper is almost empty. And that's it. We are finished separating. Oh no, where'd the... Oh, I didn't want pig food. What happened? It's so weird. That's so weird. You know what? I don't want that. I don't, I don't want it. Um, empty that shovel. Pig food, I'm really not worried about. It's only like worth like a dollar a liter. So it was like $2,000 worth of pig food there. There. We want these premium potatoes that are magically stored in the hopper. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm curious to see what our loss was. I don't know if washing them loses any. I don't know if it's a one-to-one. -one. I didn't check that. I probably should have checked that, but I didn't. But then we can see how much we have in... Uh, oh, I can turn the time down. But this, it was fun. I had fun doing it. I know some people probably... So we have, what, 1,001. So we had 2,000... Pretty much 2,000 liters there. This is 1843. So 3843. So $3,843 pretty much for, for pig food. That's what we have. Let's see how much we have in the truck. 92% of our original load. So we only had a loss of 8% through washing and sorting. Not bad at all. Um... I wonder if we could... And the inside of this cab is red. I tell you what. I'm not going to do that. Let's run over here and... We'll just sleep real quick. Save our game. I always save before I sleep. Because I've had a couple... It may have been a mod issue, but I've, I've slept and then... Uh, what time is it? Is it 9 o'clock? It is. So let's sleep. Come on. Trigger. Sleep for 11 hours. Animal upkeep. Property income. Stable. Heck yeah. Making money. I don't know where the property income comes from. I think it comes from this BGA thing down here next to the sawmill. 
and from the greenhouse over here at the I think we get a little bit of income there let's jump over to our truck what is the current pr so premium potatoes the price is going down but 479.51 where regular potatoes is 282.21 so as long as the map price hasn't been adjusted for potatoes it seems like it is very beneficial to do all that to do the sorting and everything the the equipment itself isn't very expensive i mean the sorter the washer is 18,000 the sorter is 2800 bucks it's not that expensive and it didn't take too much time to do a full load in 36 tons you can you can sit down in a gameplay session you know an hour hour and a half and knock out a full load of potatoes and then we're going to go see how much money we make real quick curious I'm curious to find out then we'll be done with this episode let me know what you think let me know what you think about potatoes now short term I, it's probably not worth it but like a lot of things in this game if you're playing short term if you're only playing a map for like one year I mean if, if, if you're I mean if you're not playing with seasons it'd be I mean it'd be fun because you can grow potatoes all the time but if you're playing with seasons and you're only playing like on a map for one year, a lot of this stuff's not going to be worth it. It's not worth it. And for if you play seasons short term, I don't think it's worth it. I mean, if you're not willing to dedicate a couple years, and even two years is kind of really short term for how much money it costs that you invest in this equipment. That's why I've been tempted to do a season series where I just lease everything. Because I really think in the short term, if you're only, um, maybe other than one tractor, your main tractor you want to purchase just because of the amount of hours you're going to put on it. But outside of that, I mean, if you're only playing for a season or two, you're better off leasing everything. I, I really believe that. You lease it when you use it, get rid of it when you don't. I mean, if you're only going to do one harvest, why spend... You know, four hundred thousand dollars on a harvester. Just lease it for forty gray. You're not making money in that year, anyways. I don't care which way you do it. I don't. I don't think you can make money with seasons playing one year. I really don't. Be really hard pressed unless you're cutting a lot of trees and doing stuff like that. Be really hard pressed to make money. Seasons is a long play, definitely. All right. Let's swing in here and see what kind of cash we made. Oh. Ready? Cha-ching! It's not going to be like crazy super money, but it's going up pretty quick over there. So $17,510 for one load of potatoes. If we were just doing regular prices, you could cut that by, so was that 479 regular potatoes or two, so $200. So, I mean, regular price, you're looking at $10,000 a load. Washing them, $17,000 a load. And here's the crazy thing. I have tons of potatoes left, tons of potatoes. I mean, I have 100 tons in the silo, so I have three more loads just in the silo. Um, that's not counting what's in the heap. And I've got at least another 100 tons in the heap. So I have, what, six, seven loads at 17, 18K a pop? So I got $100,000 plus in potatoes up there. Hundred, probably more like $150,000 in potatoes once you wash them, sort them, and do all that. So one harvest, $150,000 is pretty good money. So we have, we can say that potatoes are good money. And actually, if you look at the numbers, potatoes, sugar beets, sugar cane, all very, very good profit, definitely. You know what would be a fun farm? Like a sugar farm. I did that when I very first started making YouTube videos. I did a little episode where uh, Lewis sent me down to Estancia La Pacho to start a sugarcane factory. And that was before there were really any mods, wasn't a whole lot out. So it might be something I maybe worth revisiting. 
in some capacity. I think sugar, that's something I haven't done is sugar cane or sugar beets. So I think that may be a fun series eventually. I mean, we have a year. Farm sim, next farm sim won't be out until probably this time next year. So we still have plenty of time. And then with the global company stuff, I may be able to put like a sugar factory in and kind of do a whole, you know, industry of sugar. Maybe, maybe something to write down. I'll write that down on the pad. Well, everybody, thank you for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Weekend is coming up, so I hope you have a great weekend. I'll be at work for the next four days. Usually I work three days, but I have to work an extra day this week. Um, so I'm trying to get as much content in and upload it as I can because I'll be away from my computer for about four days. So I'll be pretty behind come the start of next week. But that just means more videos for you. Until next time, everybody, stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you later.